Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes. I'm Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner for Media Relations at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by the four-time NSIC Women's Golfer of the Week, Lexi Hansen of the University of Sioux Falls. Lexi, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, before we get into golf, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, I am a fifth year from Chanhassen, Minnesota. Um, my majors are criminal justice, psychology, sociology, and social sciences. That's quite the list of majors. What is your plans for post Sioux Falls? Um, at this moment, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, my goal is to make it to the FBI. So we're just trying to figure out the stepping stones as to how to get there. Outstanding. Have you always been interested in being an FBI agent or is that something that, is there any background beyond that? Um, not really background. I've just always really been um, interested in law enforcement and criminal justice. And I just figured, you know, might as well go for the top and try to get to the FBI. So. Awesome. All right. You said you grew up in Chanhassen. How did you end up at the University of Sioux Falls? Um, honestly, there was one day I was just walking out of high school and I got a text from uh, the old coach, Brett Bennett, and said, hi, I'm, you know, the golf coach here at USF. And I, you know, looked at it. They had the majors I wanted to go into and visited and just fell in love with the campus. So it's pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, you were one of the top golfers this spring. In fact, you're leading the NSIC in stroke average. Uh, what's been key so far for your success this spring? Um, I honestly think confidence and just lots of practice. Um, we've had a lot of team practices and just, you know, grinding down to the stone and just figuring out the basics to the golf game and not trying to make things too complicated and just, you know, going out there and just trying to do your best. A uh, lot of different routines for athletes prior to competition. Uh, what's your day look like prior to a round of golf? And do you have any pre-competition rituals that you do? Um, usually we just wake up and go down and eat breakfast. Uh, this year I've kind of picked up a tradition of eating a yogurt on my way to the course. I don't know why it's yogurt, but um, this is something I do. Um, and then I usually get there and start with short game um, and then hit the range. And I usually listen to music. So I have a playlist I listen to um, that tries to get me you know, pumped up and in, in the right mindset. All right. So is it a specific yogurt flavor or brand? Uh, no, it's usually strawberry or raspberry. I just find in the hotel fridge. So, okay. And then what yeah. type of music do you listen to to get pumped up? Um, probably like hip hop and rap something that just has some good beats just to get me going, I guess. Okay, get the blood flowing, all right. Um, yeah. Mentioned you're the four-time NSIC Player of the Week nine times in your career. Uh, the NSIC Women's Golf Championship will take place this Friday to Sunday at Dakota Ridge out in Morton, Minnesota. Uh, you mm -hmm. haven't played there this spring yet, but you are familiar with the course. Tell us what it's like to play Dakota Ridge. Well, it's always a challenge and the weather is always just very inconsistent, I would say, within the past four years I've played. Um, it's a great course and it's really challenging. So it's, it's a lot of fun to play just because it, it really tests your true golf ability and it brings out the best in everybody. Um, so I'm really looking forward to playing it and giving it my best. So uh, last week, there's the Augustana invite, a lot of NSIC teams competing there. Uh, you were the medalist and Sioux Falls just edged Augustana by one stroke to win that invite. Yeah. Uh, talk about your teammates and your team goals going into the NSIC championship, knowing just how close the teams are um, going into that. Yeah, I think this is the biggest goal we've had this year is to be the number one in the NSIC conference. And obviously that's going to be our goal this, uh, this week is to come out and, you know, give it all we got. You know, we, we, can, we can beat every team out there. I mean, granted, we only beat Augustana by one stroke, but I think, um, you know, with practice this week, we've really just put a nice mindset in as we are the best team out here and we can do this if we do all this work together and give it our all. Yeah, uh, in preparation for this, you guys played a lot of rounds this spring. I think 12 or 14 rounds you've played. A lot of travel, including rounds during the middle of the week, um, amounting to a lot of missed class time. Talk about that balance it takes to be on the road and still maintain an elite GPA. Yeah, um, you know, it can be difficult at times, but one nice thing about USF is they're truly understanding of student athletes. And so they can always give you work ahead of time, um, you know, give you a little extra deadline if you need it. Um, for me, I'm only taking one class this spring and it's with, you know, one of my favorite professors. So she's very understanding and it's very easy to catch up on stuff, but, you know, just grinding out the homework after the rounds and taking the time you need to find it, it really makes you a better person as well. So we're talking on Wednesday morning. We said the first round is on Friday. Uh, what are you most excited for, for the championship this spring? Honestly, just going out and competing. Uh, you know, COVID took away our championship season last spring. So now that we have the chance to go out there and do it and just being with my teammates, I don't think there's anything better than that. And I'll have, you know, a lot of our um, teammates are from around, you know, in the Midwest. So we'll have your family there supporting us, which is the coolest thing. When you get out on the golf course, you golf with against other, uh, other teams, the top golfers. Um, what's it like to be out there uh, in that threesome, um, you know, going into the final day, uh, the mindset you need um, hole to hole? 
Uh, mindset, I would just say, take it, like you said, hold the hole. Um, don't, take, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Golf, you're out there for, you know, four to six hours. It can be draining. And I think you just got to have to have that mental strength and just be like, okay, you know, one bad shot, everybody's going to hit a bad shot at one point. Um, and the cool thing is, is like with the NSIC, I know a lot of almost all the golfers, you know, within the top, you know, five spots. So it's kind of cool. You make friends out there as well. So you kind of, you can have fun with them, you know, while you're walking, but then when you get up to your ball, it's, it's go time. All right. And before we let you go, uh, what would you say is the strength of your game? I would have to say um, driving or maybe just the mental game. Um, it's a couple of things I've been working on. All right. Well, Lexi, best of luck to you and the Cougars this weekend. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, you can follow along the NSIC Women's Golf Championship this weekend. Go to northernsun.org. Click on the Women's Golf Championship page. We'll have live scoring updates. Uh, we'll do some recaps at the end of the day from each student athlete. Um, but that'll wrap up this week's show. Lexi, thanks for taking the time to join us and best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.